Hello everyone. I wanted to create a video to troubleshoot some of the issues that we are having in our Google Classroom so that we can help our students access our assignments and make sure that they are able to type into them or whatever it is that you're trying to get them to do. Um, a few of the issues that several of our teachers have been having is their students are being forced to either create copies of their assignments, uh, they can't type into their assignments and things of that nature. So I wanted to show you what may be happening when you go into classwork and you choose create, you have all of these options. Uh, first things first, if your students are not able to type into your documents or you're not being given the option to give each student a copy, you are probably posting under material. So remember when you post under material, if you go to add something, you will not get that option. So I wanted to show you the different icons before I even showed you one that I just created. The one that looks like a piece of paper with a bookmark is material. The one that looks like a clipboard with lines is art. Those are assignments. Those are things that students can actually work on. They can turn in, they can mark it as done. And then you also have a question mark icon that is the question you're asking and the students can respond to it, whether it's multiple choice or short answer. These icons are gray because right now I left them as drafts and you can see that over here. This icon is blue because it has been published to the students and they can now see it. Okay, so here is something that if you choose material, I wanted to show you what your students are seeing. Okay, so I'm gonna click on edit so you can see. I've titled this assignment with the date for my kids so it makes it easier for them to know what to do on what day. I've added a worksheet I want them to complete, but notice that over here, I do not get the option to give each kid a copy. Okay, and that's because you've posted it as material and that is a default for view only. So unless it's something you just want them viewing, a PowerPoint, some notes, maybe a video or a reading, uh, you probably do not want to use material if you're wanting those students to actually come in and work on it. So I'm going to post this because I put my daughter in this class and we are going to hop on over into her view in just a minute. Okay, so now that's posted. Okay, this next one I have chosen was assignment. So I did create assignment and I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and show you the options. Um, as long as you don't publish this first and click assign, um, you should get the options after you title it and after you add your worksheet. If it is a Google Doc or a Word Doc, you should be able to use this drop down menu and you have three choices. This choice at the top just means they can view it, which means when they open it on their end, they're gonna see just view only. So uh, they will have to make a copy if you're choosing this, and then they will have to reattach it to their assignment, okay? What most of us are probably looking for when we want our students to be able to type into something is this last option, make a copy for each student. That way it will put their name on it and you will be able to actually come in and um, see their work with their name already on it. They don't have to attach anything. They don't have to go back and create anything. They don't have to go back and find it in their Google Drive. It is all right here for you within Google Classroom. The middle option just gives them the choice to have access to your file in your drive and edit the original. So most of us are not gonna choose this. Um, so right now I'm gonna actually do, Let's see, I'm gonna do make a copy for each student, but I'm gonna do this one twice. Um, if you want your students to do these on certain days, it's probably best to go ahead and put a due date so that the parent and the kid, um, I, I put two, I put one in the title, and then I come in and I always add the due date as the same day, and it just kind of helps eliminate the confusion. I do tend to personally make topics that outline the week. So I might say week three, August 24th through the 28th, and then that way the students really get a good view. So right now I'm gonna leave it as make a copy and I'm going to go ahead and assign it. Okay, and then if you haven't used the reuse feature, I'm gonna show this because I wanna change this to, I wanna make a second one that's identical. However, I'm going to uh, basically make it view only. So I'm gonna create and reuse a post from this sample class. Okay, one thing if you're sharing with your teachers at other schools or even within your school and you're going to do some reusing posts, 
then what you probably want to make sure you do is check this box at the bottom that says create new copies of all attachments. Okay, that way if there is a Google form, there's a doc, you get a copy in your drive personally, and you'll be able to see your results. If you send students to, um, you know, and you don't check that box, then what happens is if they're sent to a form to take a quiz or to complete a self check, then the teacher who owns that form, the responses are going to be in her form or his form. So you always want to check this box if you're you're um, sharing materials with other teachers. That way you get the copy in your drive. OK, so we're going to reuse this post. It's going to create it for me in my sample class. And then I'm going to go in quickly and just change this real quick so we can see what it looks like if we choose view only. OK, so it is essentially identical. Um, the only thing different is this one's going to be view only and the other one is going to be um, where the student got the copy. So we're going to hop into my student's view real quick and her work should be populating. So here are the things that I posted a minute ago and I did not put them under week three. OK, but you can see these two assignments, lab safety rules are the ones that I did. Notice her icons. So this is the student view. She sees the clipboard with lines. She knows it's an assignment that she needs to complete here. This was the same assignment. We put it under material. So notice it's gray on her end. A gray icon tells her it's material. She doesn't have to turn anything in. So if she clicks on this and goes to view material so she can complete the work, she doesn't have a my work box on the right. If she clicks on this document, she can see it, but there's nothing that she can type into. OK, so uh, it says request edit access. And if the teacher gives her edit access, she's going to edit the original. So she cannot do anything with this document. And that's what we are trying to avoid. So we don't want to do things as material. So let's go back to classwork and see what else we had. So that was that one. Here is let's see if this was the first one or not. View assignment. Um, notice that her work box on the right does not have the assignment in it. However, her Google Doc is over here. So this was the assignment I posted as view only. So if she clicks into this document, again, she cannot type into it. We thought we posted it as an assignment to her, but our student cannot type into it. The only thing she can absolutely do is click over here at file, make a copy. She will have to make a copy in her personal student drive. You can't see it. And then she will have to click OK in order to type into this document. So this is hard for adults, much less students. And then she can type whatever she wants to write on her document. OK, when she closes this, great. It is there in her Google Drive. She didn't lose it. But now when she turns in her work and marks it as done, you, the teacher, cannot see what she did at all because she hasn't attached it. She hasn't added it. And she thinks it's there because she just did it. But as the teacher, we're frustrated because we can't see the work. The student then has to come in here and click Add. She has to go to her Google Drive and she has to choose the file she just worked on. So can you imagine as a parent or as an elementary student or even as a high school student or even as us adults, this is difficult. This is a lot of clicks. OK, she has to do all of this so that you can see her copy of her work before she marks it as done. So view only isn't even what we want. OK, this was the view only assignment. Now, if I come back in here to classwork and we click on the second one, this was the one where we provided each student their own copy. You can see the difference already in that her name is already on the assignment and her document is over here in the work box. OK, this ensures that the student is able to click on the document. She can then come in here and type her answers. She doesn't have to go save it or attach it or anything. When she closes this document and it says that it's saved to her drive, all she has to do is click turn in. You as the teacher get access to view her work and she doesn't have to go digging. OK, so again, what we did was we created the assignment. We attached the file and we made each student get a copy and it eliminates the need for them to make a copy of your work, go find it in their drive and add or attach it before they ever click the turn in button. So this is a simple, simple fix. OK, so. All right, let's go look at what else she has in. Let me come back to here and show you what happens when we create a quiz assignment. If you create a quiz assignment, you automatically get a blank form generated for you and grade importing is on. Um, you can also 
create an assignment and just go into your Google Drive and add a quiz that you have already formed and made. If your quiz already has been turned on to act like a, an actual quiz, then you will automatically get the grade importing that switches on for you. Leave your forms in their own little assignment because if you start adding PowerPoints or videos to them, grade importing turns off and you're not able to click the button to grade them and pull the grades into Google Classroom. Notice that you do not get the option to make a copy of the form for each student because forms in and of itself acts like a link that takes them outside of Google Classroom, puts them in your form and allows them to take the quiz there. So they don't need a copy, okay? They are being entered as themselves already into your form. So you never have to worry about that if you're just adding a form to the assignment. You just can assign it, okay? So I do hope that that works and, um, and helps you out a little bit to understand what's going on with the student views on their end and probably what the best method uh, for different assignments are. So again, um, understand that posting material they cannot edit anything, they can't type into anything. Posting something as view only, if you're not careful to use that drop down menu, they still cannot type into it. They have to make a copy and then they have to remember to come over here and click this add or create button so that they can actually attach their work from their drive before they turn it in. And then finally, I wanna go over this. If as a teacher, you realize that you accidentally posted something as view only, which was this assignment, if you go, oh man, I need to go back and I need to make sure that they get their own copy, there are three dots over here that allow you to go in and edit your assignment. However, once you have pushed an assignment, after not, not when it's saved as a draft, but once you have actually clicked the assign button or once it's scheduled and it goes out, you cannot anymore give them a copy. And that's frustrating. I wish it was different, but it has to do with the way the files are being sent online and through the servers. But if you had some type of instructions here, you could always copy them and then you can go create a new assignment and paste it and give them a new copy. OK, give them each a copy. You cannot go in and edit it once you have assigned it. And that's super frustrating, but that is definitely how it's set up. So email me at casey.moscow at lpsb.org if you have any questions and I hope this helps.